Welcome to our first, our first college signing of the school year. All right, and it, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna anticipate more to come, but the first one's always the most important one. Uh, it's one of our academic goals, it's our athletic goals, is always as a uh, head coach is to make sure that our athletes are academic all state, that they have great grades, right, number one. Number two is for them to play at the next level. And most importantly is to build that road so that others can follow. And for Alexis being our number one college signing today, she is going to the greatest, the greatest university in the nation. So a big round of applause for Alexis. I'm, I'm going to be a little biased because that's where I graduated from. So I'm, 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 a, big, I'm, a, big, I'm a big Havilena. I know it's called Texas A&M, University of Kingsville, but for all of us, it's A&I till I die. And it, it, all, it would always be, I know you have a lot of family members that, are go, that have uh, gone, through, gone through it. Uh, for, for the parents and friends and family that are, that are here, guess what? You get to make a stop at the King's Inn if you've never been there. So if some of you guys that don't know what King's Inn, it is the greatest seafood place in Kingsville. But most importantly, uh, my, my tidbit with, with this whole deal is going to be what has the sport done to you as a person? Uh, one thing is we're here. Our motto is built to win. Our most important thing is for our athletes to be built to win. And sports takes a lot of sacrifice. It takes a lot of time. You've got to be responsible. You've got to be reliable. You've got to be punctual. And there's a lot of sacrifice that you have to do. Sometimes summers, while your friends are at the beach or your friends are traveling, you're in the weight room. You're, you're in, in the batting cages. You're doing the stuff that you're going to sacrifice. But you know what? Hard work has paid off. And this is, this is the, the, the fruit of the labor. The, here's all the great things that have happened because of your hard work, of your hard work. Coach Salinas, I know Coach Salinas when he was with, uh, with, with the Islanders. I know Coach Salinas when he was, when he was in, in, uh, in Kingsville. You're going to a great coach, a great staff. In, uh, I know the head football coach there and the athletic director, so you're, you're going to be in great hands. But most importantly is now all of your friends that are here, she's not too far where we can go and watch her play. So, and, and mom and dad and family, I mean, it's, it's an hour and a half. It's an hour and a half. Uh, uh, so, but with that being said, uh, you've got little ones are now are going to want to be like you, you know, and, and so you're now a role model whether you want to or not. So always remember to always give back. Always give back because you never know who's watching. And as a West Laco Panther, all right, I know you're going to turn into the blue and gold, but I know that you'll always bleed purple and white. So how about a big round of applause for Alexis? <laughs> at, this, at this time, we have our counselor. We have, our, we have Alexis' counselor and, and, and head coaches here, our softball coach. So we're going to go first with our, with our counselor, Ms. Rosana Olivares. I stand on this side because that sun. I've known her for a while now. I'm her counselor now, but I've seen her grow up. And she's always been this passionate person about softball. And she's very quiet, right? Can we all agree? Yes. But that's okay because you know what? Her grades speak for her. Academically, she does really well. I'm very proud of you. Uh, congratulations, mom and dad. You too. Like he said, we're close by. Maybe we can take road trips and go check it out. Congratulations once again. Thank you. Mario. I wrote some things down so that I wouldn't forget. You know, after. Um, there's a saying that goes that if, if you're good at something, you don't have to go around telling people that you are good. People will speak for you and tell everybody else that, you are good. So Alexis, if you allow me, I'm going to brag about you a little bit. Alexis is, uh, is a four-year letterman, three-year starter. Uh, we compete in the 32-6A district. So if you're familiar with softball, 
32-6A is probably one of the toughest districts in the Valley, if not the toughest district in the Valley. And Alexis was nominated the 32-6A first team, third baseman for two years in a row, her sophomore and her junior year. Those are some of her individual accomplishments. As a team, uh, team accomplishments, Alexis and her teammates, in her three years of high school that she has competed here, she has collected one district championship, three by district championships, three area championships, one regional quarterfinal championship, one regional semifinal championship. It's a lot of championships, guys. <laughs> okay? Uh, if you total it all up, it's, it's 11 rounds of playoffs. Okay? And if you ask me, that means that she's battle tested. Okay? So, how is Alexis? And you've already heard it. Alexis is a quiet leader. She lets her actions speak for themselves. She lets her, you know, her, her work ethic speak for her. She's going to lead by example, by through her actions. She's not, it's not her words. Okay? She's humble, she's quiet, but she's a passionate softball player. She's probably, even you probably will agree with me, she's probably a person that does not like the limelight. She doesn't want to be the center of attention. But, uh, it play, uh, but, she's, but she, one thing you could say is that, you know, if you were to ask me what kind of player she is, or if Coach Salinas, I did meet Coach Salinas over the summer, and he asked me, you know, what kind of player Alexis is. I, I told him straight up in short, you know, she's a player that puts her foot on the ground and goes to work. Okay. Uh, she doesn't complain. Um, you know, and, 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 and it's really what makes her good is the unseen hours that she has put in in the weight room. You know, she has put in in, in the field, working on her hitting, working on her uh, fielding, that has put her to the situation where she is now. Okay. Um, we have, as a coaching staff and myself, we have had the privilege to have seen her grow from when she came in her freshman year and to, to where she at the level that she is playing now. And we are very excited to see what's going to come her last year, senior year, for everybody, for all her team members that are here, her teammates that are here. So on behalf of the coaching staff and myself, we want to wish you nothing but the best. As you prepare for your next journey, your next chapter, but before you get too ahead of yourself, we still have one more season with you. So, and we have a lot of unfinished business to take care of. But good luck. Thank you. Man, great program. So our softball program and Coach Rodriguez and, and his coaching staff have done a tremendous job, the girls. And we expect uh, great things for, for this coming uh, softball season. So at this time, we're going to ask uh, the parents if they want to say a few words. And then we'll, we'll, uh, we'll finish it off with Alexis. Got Who wants to go first? Dad? Okay. Just uh, thank you all for being here. And uh, we're just grateful. We're excited. Uh, we're looking forward to a new chapter uh, of her playing collegiate level. And uh, just thanks to every, everybody. And uh, pass it on to mom now. Hello, everyone. Thank you, uh, first of all, for taking the time um, off your day to be here to celebrate uh, Alexis. Um, we'd also like to um, thank uh, the coaches, um, Coach Rodriguez, Coach uh, Morales, Coach Hinojosa, uh, Coach Hiram, uh, Alexis batting coach. Um, and we'd like to also thank our family and friends that have come from near and far. And we truly appreciate you know, you being here. And I'd like to um, say um, to Alexis that I love her with all my heart. And I am so proud of her um, for all the hard work, uh, you know, that she's put in all these years. Um, since she was little, she's been playing. Um, first t-ball and, um, and then she just, you know, continued playing. So I'm really proud of her. Um, and I'm, I thank God, you know, every day that, you know, that she's my daughter. So, but thank you. Right. Uh, hi, everyone. Thank you for coming today, uh, supporting me. Um, I want to thank my parents. You know, they've been there for me when I was little. My sister, older sister. 
uh, my coaches, Coach Ra, Inohosa, and Coach Morales. Um, and then I've been starting to go to dogs, so I feel a lot stronger. Thank you, dog. And thank you, Coach Hiram, my batting coach. And also, I want to thank my friends who, have, like, I might have just met them this year, but they're very supportive. And my teammates. And And my team, um, I'm so excited what's going to happen this year. And um, I'm happy that I am uh, y'all's teammate. And I want to see what we're going to do this year. Thank you. Good job. Good job. So at this time, if I can have uh, Mrs. Olivares, the counselor, coaches, let's come up to, towards the back. And then for the moment of truth, and then on the count of three, you'll you'll make it official, okay? You'll, she'll be signing the letter of intent to Texas A&M Kingsville, also known as Texas A&I, all right? On the count of three, y'all ready? Ready, one, two, three. Big round of applause.